Uh, my name is Charles Webster Bear. Today is September 6, 2014. I'm in uh, Tianjin, China, and um, my website is gig15.com, gig15.com, uh, Global Internet Government. And I'm going to talk about the President of Earth. The president of Earth is the person or thing that wins the president of Earth election. The president of Earth is the person or thing that gets the most votes in the president of Earth election. The president of Earth election is every December 1st Hawaiian time. Early and late votes don't count. In order to vote, you go to my website, gig15.com, on December 1st, Hawaiian time, and click on chat, and then click on the link that says chat, and that'll take you to the chat room, and then you register, and then you log in, and then you post a thread, and the title of the thread says, I'm voting for blank for President of Earth next year. And that will be your one and your only vote for President of Earth for 2015. You can vote for anybody, including yourself, uh, or anything. If a non-human wins, then the spokesperson for that object or being uh, will be the de facto President of Earth. There can only be one spokesperson. Um, the term is one year, January 1st to January 1st, so there's a month off between the election and between the, and when you actually become president of Earth. So good luck. Get your friends to vote for you. Get as many people as you can to vote for you. Historically speaking, you don't need many votes to win. Uh, so, seriously, you can win this thing with a very small amount of votes. The President of Earth is an unpaid employee of global internet government. The President of Earth has no power. The President of Earth is a spokesperson for GIG, global internet government. The President of Earth supports the GIG agenda. The gig agenda is very simple. The gig agenda is two things. The first thing is total transparency for all governments, total freedom of speech online for all people, uh, freedom of speech, freedom of the press, online, all financial uh, transactions by every government on earth, totally transparent, public, immediately. That's the first part of the gig agenda. The second part of the gig agenda is total female reproductive rights for all females on earth. And that means every government on earth needs to provide every female on earth with total and free access to all forms of birth control. That's the gig agenda. Freedom of speech online, government transparency, that's the first part of the gig agenda. The second part of the gig agenda, total female reproductive rights. Okay. Governments that don't agree with the gig agenda are illegitimate governments. And uh, illegitimate governments get replaced with legitimate governments quickly and peacefully. Because that's how we do it. Um, so that's the gig agenda. And the president of Earth supports the gig agenda. If you don't support the gig agenda, don't run for president of Earth. Um, so, it's, it, you know, that's, that's the deal. Uh, I 
won the first president of Earth election in 2008, and then I won the second president of Earth election in 2009, and then I won the third one in 2010, which means I was president of Earth from 2009 to 2011. Once you are president of Earth three times, you can't run for a fourth term. So I wasn't able to run for a fourth term. In 2012, the president of Earth was a Canadian from Toronto named Sean Zavontis. In 2013, the president of Earth was Eli Kane from Miami, Florida. In 2014, the president of Earth was Trevor Johnson from Houston, Texas. And on December 1st, we'll find out who the President of Earth is going to be for 2015. Now, I own GIG. I am the President, the owner, and the founder of Global Internet Government. The President of Earth is an unpaid employee of Global Internet Government. Therefore, I can fire the President of Earth whenever I feel like it, for no reason at all. But I'm not going to do that unless I think the President of Earth has either lied or uh, brought religion into the situation. Okay? Now, I'm an atheist, but I'm not anti-religion. It's okay for the President of Earth to be part of a religion. That's not a problem. The problem is you don't bring any kind of religion into official global internet government duties. And President of Earth is an official global internet government duty. So, um, GIG is not anti-religion, it's simply non-religion. There's no religion in GIG. GIG doesn't oppose religion. There is just, there's no religion in GIG. Okay zero. There's zero tolerance for any kind of religion in gig. And so it's okay for the president of Earth to be part of a religion, but he can't in any way, shape, or form bring that religion into any kind of official gig business. So if I feel the president of Earth has done that, I'll fire that person immediately. Uh, and that would mean whoever got the second most amount of votes would be president of Earth for the remainder of the term. But like I said, I'm not going to fire the president of Earth, you know, unless unless they blatantly lie or they blatantly just get too freaky with the God thing, and that's not going to happen, you know. The, the, the odds of that happening are very very small. So, you know, don't sweat it. It's no big deal. I just want everybody to know that I'm here to pull the plug if you know, I feel like it. Um, so that's the deal. Uh, so that's President of Earth. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> it, it, looks, it looks pretty good on the resume. Um, and, you know, in the future, I'm sure there'll be a few gig stock options thrown in. Uh, but I want to thank uh, the current President of Earth. Uh, doing a fantastic job. Uh, I want to thank the two former President of Earth. Uh, Eli did a great job. Uh, Sean, Canadian, did a great job. So, uh, you know, yeah, President of Earth, man, get on it. <laughs>